So we're here at the Amsoil Center. What exactly goes on at this building? Well, this is where everything happens. So this is where we make the oil and package it and ship it around the United States as well as globally. Excellent. Show me around. We're walking along the Yellow Brick Road. The Yellow Brick Road. So there's 411,000 square foot facility, and this is where all the blending happens. We have about 350 different blends that we make here in, in Superior, Wisconsin. How long has Amsoil been in operation out of this facility? Uh, out of this facility, it's been about 20 years now. And as the company has grown over the years, there's a lot of history here. How important was it to the company to stay right here in this area where it all began? Well, privately held company, and so the Amatuzio family is uh, very uh, dedicated to the employee base and to the community. And uh, if you think about it, having an oil manufacturer in Superior, Wisconsin, it's the wrong location, the wrong location, the wrong location because we're bringing raw materials in from coastal you know, refineries and bringing them here and then manufacturing it and then shipping it globally. But we're, we're here, we're here for the long run. Are people here, are they working seven days a week, 24 seven? What does that look like? We are a single shift operation. And so Monday through Friday. So we invest heavily into technology. Uh, certainly as the business grow, we have the capacity to add additional shifts. But right now um, we keep investing in equipment and in the people and it's just a very efficient system and process. So these are our two primary lines, manufacturing lines. One is dedicated to quartz only. This is a line that we can do up to like one gallon jugs, but it can also do quartz for us as well. Uh, both of these are relatively new within the last two years. We've upgraded the technology and, uh, you know, gained a lot of efficiencies out of it, probably a good 20% or so in the packaging of the, of the finished goods. Yeah, quartz filled today, and it's it's early yet. Thirty-seven thousand quarts were filled today. Wow! On a single shift. Thirty-seven thousand. And they're and they're they're off early. Every single one of the bottles is weighed because each bottle weighs a little bit differently. So we're able to make sure that we're able to fill the quart of oil properly, and uh, you know not overfill, but we never underfill it either. So that's that's what this process does. Wow. So this is what we refer to as a rail spur. And this is where we'll have inbound shipments of raw material coming in. And on the other side of those uh, rail cars is where we can have up to four tractor trailer tankers come in and offload at the same time. So a rail car is about 23,000 gallons of raw material. And, and uh, a tanker truck's about 6,000 gallons. There's a... Uh, 90 transfer pumps in here and about three and a half miles of piping to take it from the rail car into the into the raw material tanks which we haven't shown you yet but we're coming to into the finished good tanks is three and a half miles of pipe three and a half miles and so once they're done with the blend and they've sent what they needed to to the packaging lines what they'll do is they'll use a squeegee system and we refer to it as a pig We'll essentially put this pig into the pipe and then it'll push all of the finished goods to the production line so we make sure that we're getting everything that they ask for as far as the size of the batch is, is being produced. And then they'll send the pig back and then they only got a clean line. So the interesting thing with these is that when they're manufacturing... Welcome back to Crandon International Raceway, the 54th Polaris Crandon World Championships, Amsoil Championship Off-Road, presented by the U.S. Air Force. Shane and Brent up here, Nolan down there. Super stock truck. We had that little delay, but we've been given the all-good signal. Super stock truck coming at you very soon. Here's another look at that starting grid, and we talked about the points battle. Braden Boshaw in fourth in points. Belanger in third. Machosik second in points. Holcher leading the points. Only 17 points from first to fourth. There's been a lot of drama. We know about the rivalries in this class, Brent. This is what we've been waiting for today, Super Stock Truck. Like I said earlier, these are the big bad boys of the sportsman division. You just see how many trucks are on that starting line. There's Nick Bing in the 833, going through some ups and downs this season. He wants to capitalize here at the big house. 
He gets to start all the way outside of that front row, and you look all the way to the inside, Trey Boshaw, that's a guy that's capable of running up front, as well as Aaron Holiday right next to him. Then that group of four that we talked about in the points battle, right there in the middle of row number one. Faye is gonna slide the board, and you'll hear the sound of the engines. They'll rev them up. Well, here we go, pay attention. At any given time, you'll see that green flag wave. There it is. Get on your feet, Crandon. Here we go to Forest County, Pottawatomie, turn number one. Man, Machosik just shot out of a cannon on that start. Wow, he's all by himself down the middle. Here comes Braden Boshaw now. Into turn one, it will be Ben Holter flying past Machosik. Braden Boshaw, Jamie Kleikamp, Belanger up in the top five. Wow, look at the packed house on the left of your screen. Big, big crowd here this weekend. Looks like Kaziza got was, a little sideways there. He was all crossed up, landed over that barn jump, got into the side of Bing a little bit. Holter going way wide out into the dust. And we see the cream rising to the top already. The points leader, Ben Holter, leads the way through the gravel pit for the first time. Machosik, the 2021 champ, hot on his heels. Boy, Shane, that's probably the cleanest start we've seen all year out of Super Stock Truck. That's so awesome because you want the best in the business to get out front. Look at Joey Machosik trying to square that calamity corner. It is greasy down on the inside, though. Machosik could not get the drive to get alongside Holter. He'll fall back in line. Braden Boshaw still sitting in third. We got a battle for fourth. Belanger and Clydecamp banging doors side by side. Yeah, if you're Braden Boshaw, you want these top two to start making some contact. It'll give you a chance to button up to the back door. And look at that moisture laid down on the track. It's really, really heavy right now, Shane. We talked about the points battle. Holcher with a 14-point lead over Machosik, and Machosik might be in trouble. Braden Boshaw now into the second spot. Wow, Braden Boshaw just throttled his way around. Joey Machosik, here we go. It's going to be a drag race back to turn number one. Boshaw will have the spot. He will go to work to try to chase down the 844 Holcher. There's Ben Holger coming through turn one. Braden Boshaw now, he's hunting down our race leader. Remember, Braden Boshaw, he swept the weekend at Bark River. Yeah, big momentum coming into this one. I just got word from race control that Machosik, they determined that he jumped the start a little bit, so they made him give up one spot. So he actually had to fall back behind Boshaw. Well, you said he was shot out of a cannon. He went a little too early, so definitely had to give up that spot. Remember, we have a halfway point caution. The red and yellow flag will be displayed, but right now, if you're Braden and Joey, you gotta run that pace of Ben Holger. You gotta know you can run with him. In a points battle where every position matters for everybody who's not Ben Holger in that points race, you have to hunt him down. We're gonna see both Braden Boshai and Joe Machosik be extremely aggressive, I think. Yeah, Braden, he's so smart behind the wheel. He's gonna pick the best line. You can see he's gradually catching up. I just seen a glimpse of that left front of Braden Boshaw. He put it up on the bicycle, set it back down. I don't know, I seen a glimpse of that left front. I don't wanna say it's going down, but it didn't look too happy going through Argon. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. You see Machosik now putting the pressure back on the rear bumper of Boshaw. Down that long, fast back straightaway. Clydecamp still sitting in that fourth spot. Boy, Brayton is just checking up a little bit later than these guys trying to make that run. Here comes Joey Machosik. They're side by side. Machosik with a great run on a cowboy corner, and it'll be a drag race down towards turn one. Brayton's going to have a little bit of an advantage being on the inside. He clears Machosik. Here he comes. Now Brayton up to the back bumper of Holcher. We have a three-way battle for the lead in front of the crowd here at Crandon. Wow, Brayton Boshop barely cleaned out in front of Machosik just sneaking by. It's early yet, Shane. They need to be careful here. Long way to go in this one. Still over five minutes left on the race clock as they fly past the skyboxes. Holter again stretching up that lead a couple truck lengths over Boshaw. Now Machosik goes down to the bottom in the gravel pit. Not enough bite down there. Well, we should be coming to the halfway point this time by. Ben Holger leading the way around, but I can guarantee you, Braden Boshaw and Joey Machosik are saving a little bit in the tank here for the second half, but Ben Holger, he's flat out flying. Well, that's two more points onto the ledger for Ben Holger. 
So he'll stretch his points lead over Boshaw and Machosik just a little bit there. Look at Jamie Kleinkamp now in the top four. Cannot count him out. He had Belanger, a good start. Belanger knows how to win here as well. He's a former world champion in stock truck here at Crandon. And this is going to get interesting on this restart. You see him lining up two by two behind Ben Holcher for this Delaware restart. Man, the top seven are just so fast week in and week out. Don't count out Belanger. We've seen a lot of speed out of him. Joey Machosik, he's got the fastest lap of the day so far. He finds himself third at halfway after giving up that spot to Boshaw. Again, he was ruled to have jumped the start just by a fraction. So they made him give up one spot. But he is still definitely in the mix. We talked about that points battle. Belanger, the fourth man in that battle, currently fifth on the racetrack right behind Jamie Clydecamp. You see some trouble there for the 817 of Colt Wurzba. He is gonna need some help making it back to the pit area. Also see Mike Fillion in the 886 parked off to the side of the racetrack. So a couple guys whose days are done just a little bit early here in round 11 for Super Stock Truck. There is Fillion. So if you're one of those guys behind Ben Holcher, if you're Machosik, Braden Boshaw on this restart, how do you play this? Well, you really have to just be patient. You got to make your truck go where it likes to go. Ben Holcher, he's going to set that pace once again. We've seen a couple drivers get a little confused on the restart. But if you're Braden Boshaw and Joey Machosik, you have to get an edge on one another because you need to clear each other if you want to get that top spot because you can't afford to battle this second half. You got to go after the leader. The ChristianCarsOnline.com pace truck of Richie Kuloff going to bring him around one final time here this evening. We are set up for a wild one, a wild finish here in Super Stock Truck. We'll see the pace truck pull off here in just a few moments, turning the field over to Ben Holcher. It is Holcher. Machosik, Boshaw, there you see the original start of the race where Machosik got that great jump, but we're going to get back to it here. Green flag flies. Holter leads everybody. Whoa, as Bra Dre Boshaw, excuse me, gets all crossed up. That's going to let the lead pack get away. Yeah, Dre Boshaw gets shoved up on the bird. Wow. He was already crossed up, so no harm, no foul there. But for Trey, man, that's a bummer deal. And look at all those trucks that got collected. Clycamp, I think Jorgensen's upside down there. Looks like Summers, Kosiza, Barkland, Heikola all involved there. Let's take another look at Boshaw trying to gather it back up. Collected Kosiza, Bing got involved, Clydecamp was involved, Holiday, Summers. And that's like a stock car pile up there. Just about half the field involved in that one way or the other. And there's Jorgensen still stuck on his lid up in turn two. Yeah, that's definitely not a parking lot. You cannot park there. Those guys need Especially to get that upside going. down. Now look at Ben Holger. I told you, you're Brain Boshaw and you're Joey Machosik. You don't want to play around too much and try to do battle. You're going to lose the leader. Yeah, eyes on the prize. You got to run down the points leader and race leader, Ben Holger. And here goes Machosik alongside of Brayden Boshaw. But we are going to go full course caution here. Yeah, it's just dangerous there after the barn turn. You got a truck upside down, Jorgensen. So they were at a local caution, and then it's like, I don't know if Braden and Joey are a little confused. They get on the gas, get off the gas. Now they're back off the gas yeah, they'll, again. Yeah, uh, they'll get the memo from race control right in their uh, headsets or in their uh, race radio. So everybody now up to speed on what's going on. And we'll go back to a caution here and we get another restart. We saw how wild it was. And you commented, maybe that's a little announcer's curse. You commented after the original start of the race that it was a good, clean start. And then you saw how much Didn't chaos there was <laughs> on the restart after the halfway point and this is interesting so Holcher got a really great jump on that restart was able to hold that interval and stretch it back out right away now this is new life for Braden Boshaw Joe Machosik and you see Belanger so now the top four in points top four in points are uh, in the top four in the standings as now it's going to be a red flag on the racetrack and let's take another look at that restart you see Boshaw, he got a little help there from Clycamp, and that was nobody's fault that it started that way. And then Kosiza gets to the back bumper of Boshaw. You saw Bing, Clycamp, Holiday, Bargland, Heikola, Summers. Shanick was also involved. Hey, Shane, before, Just about everybody. That, but before that contact, I believe that Trey was a little crossed up going off that jump, and 
Clycamp had nowhere to go, so just it's a bummer deal for a lot of trucks, and that's what happens. So this has to be really tough for the drivers in these trucks. You, your adrenaline spikes again on this restart and then slow everybody back down and they'll have to uh, turn it loose once again here in Super Stock Truck. We'll step out for a very brief moment. The Super Stock Truck conclusion right around the corner here at Crandon. Stay with us here at Amsoil Championship Off-Road presented by the U.S. Air Force. Technology for the street. Champions choose Vision Wheel. Hi, I'm Matt Werges with uh, SCI, car chief for Austin Wayland's race car. And work on our cars. Uh, Box is a great fit for us because uh, they come with great organization, foam inserts in our toolboxes, um, which is perfect for a fast paced environment like a race shop. less than one hundredth of an inch of motor oil protecting your car's engine. Friction and heat causes engine oil to experience thermal breakdown, weakening its ability to protect the engine and its parts. Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer is specially formulated to resist thermal breakdown, protect vital engine parts, and extend the life of your engine. It also stops smoking, knocking, and oil consumption in worn engines. Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer. Keep that engine alive. for poor vehicle performance is a dirty fuel system. It can cause decreased fuel economy and actually do harm to your engine over time. By adding Lucas Fuel Treatment to your vehicle, it cleans and lubricates the entire fuel system, pump, carburetors, fuel injectors, and valves as you drive. It also improves your vehicle's performance. It's a non-solvent product designed to protect both gasoline and diesel engines. Lucas Fuel Treatment. It works. Welcome back once again to the big house. Super stock truck has been under a red flag. We're going to go back yellow flag here in a few moments. Richie Kuloff in the ChristianCarsOnline.com pace truck. Going to pick up our field again. Yeah, that red flag, that was for, on that kind of disjointed restart there, DJ Jorgensen. Paid the biggest price and wound up flipped over on his lid. And you can see him out walking around under his own power. No doubt uh, frustrated and a little bit banged up. We certainly hope DJ's okay. He's definitely one of the good guys back there in the pits. Really generous guy. Always willing to uh, make sure you're, you're fed and uh, hydrated. 
So we wish the best for DJ. Hope to see him back out there tomorrow racing in the World Championship. So you see the whole field heading back through the Argon Loop. Getting collected behind the uh, pace car. And we'll hopefully be able to light the fuse one last time here in Super Stock Truck. And again, we talk about strategies on these restarts, Brent. Braden Boshaw and Joe Machosik sitting right there behind Ben Holcher. I think Ben outplayed him on that previous restart, but now they get another chance. Do you think Ben throws a change up and tries a different strategy on this restart? Maybe fires later, or fires earlier. Or how do you see it playing out? Well, or, I, you can't even predict it, but what yeah, do you think? It's hard to predict, but at the same time, you had a lot of time to think about what you want to do. And you try to outsmart the driver behind you. If I was Ben, I would just try to run him till the end of that stretch and take off as late as possible. But Braden Boshaw and Joey Machosik, they're gonna be on point here on this restart. It's all about that jump, Shane. You have to get that big jump on Ben Holger if you want a shot at this thing. As our time clock is stuck on 2.49. Remember when that clock goes to zero, two laps to go. And I talk about this a lot, especially when there's a long yellow or a red flag like this, but it's really tough to be behind the wheel in those moments because your adrenaline, it spikes, and then it crashes back down to earth as you're sitting there just waiting to see what's going to happen. And, you know, your heart rate comes back down. You got to get yourself fired back up a little bit. Some of that comes down to the spotter, too, just making sure that the driver is, you know, mentally focused, locked in on what's about to happen here. Yeah, it's going to be interesting on this restart, to say the least. We'll have to wait and see if Holger can hold off this tough pack of dogs here in the second half. The green flag about to fly. Here it is. We'll see if Brayden Boshaw can sneak underneath Ben Holger on this restart. Wow, right away, Scott Belanger went to the outside of Machosik trying to steal that spot away. See Pyburn up in the top five as well. Ben Holger got a little bit over-rotated coming out of that barn turn, but he pulls Braden Boshaw on that straightaway. Boshaw trying to stay down to the bottom in the gravel pit. Boshaw almost overcooked it, had to correct on the steering wheel. That's gonna let Holger sneak away just a little bit more. Yeah, that hurts Braden Boshaw there. He has to be ready because here comes Joey Machosik to the inside. He drives on the bottom of Braden Bosha. He's gonna try to make that truck extra wide. He does, here comes Belanger. Yeah, Machosik opened the door, got past Bosha, and the door was left open for Belanger. Well, Bosha said, hey, I want that spot back. Here comes Pyburn now. Yeah, Pyburn's trying to join that party up in that top four. And again, Bosha looks like he's having some issues with traction coming out of these corners. He's gonna fall back a little bit further. Now Machosik and Holcher running away together. Boy, Joey is really coming on strong in this second half. Watch as that 851 just hooking it into the turn. Holcher over rotates a little bit. Here comes Machosik once again. It's gonna be a little bit closer this time through Forest County, Potawatomi, turn one, maybe about three car lengths. About a minute and a half left on the race clock. It's Holcher, Machosik, Boshaw, Belanger, Pyburn, and Bing. Boy, Joey Machosik just flat foot in turn number one. He looks way faster in a way compared to Holger right now. Well, Holger is just running so smooth right now, though. He hasn't made any mistakes, even with all the chaos going on behind him. We'll see what Machosik has up his sleeve. You see Boshaw trying to creep back up on Joey Machosik into the gravel pit. And again, Boshaw trying that inside line. Yeah, he's trying to apex that turn to get a good run out of the bottom. There's Machosik once again going off the player's flyaway. Ben Holger still holding on to that position. The green flag still out that time by. That'll be two laps to go here for Super Stock Truck. We'll see if Machosik can hunt down Holcher. It's been all Ben Holcher throughout the entirety of this race, even with the extra restart. But Boshaw starting to pick up the pace a little bit. I think it might have taken Braden a little bit to get back into race mode after that long slowdown. Yeah, his father, Scott Boshaw, is on the headset. He's probably telling him, you know, be smart, but you got to get on that loud pedal. Time is definitely running out. Watch Machosik now, going to try to drive it in deep here in Cowboy. 
Trying to outbreak Ben Holger and Holger again letting that back end hang out a little bit. Get that power to the ground. It's closer than it was a lap ago, I can tell you that much as they come back into turn one. Maybe a car length and a half, two car lengths at most between Holcher and Machosik. Wow, Machosik really getting a good drive. Here comes Braden Boshaw once again. He once looks to the inside now on Machosik. Wow, they are fender to fender, but did not make any contact. And Machosik got a little bit crossed up. That's actually going to slow Braden down, too. He had to check up a little bit not to clean him out. That's what makes it so hard. They're such good friends off the track as well, so they don't want to take each other out. Braden's trying to be nice and trying to pass him clean here on exit. He gets right to the back bumper again. That's letting Holger take a couple of breaths out front. Not much pressure on Holger as they enter Calamity Corner. The white flag is going to come out for Super Stock Truck. One lap to go and a lot to be decided here in round 11. It's going to be hard to catch Ben Holger on this final lap. If you're Joey Machosik, you really have to go now. Time is out. You have to be clean through Argon here. You can't afford to over-rotate if you're Machosik. You've got to get a good drive. Well, Machosik looked like he closed the gap a little bit once again. I think Holger's being a little bit more conservative than what we usually see out of him. Just trying to limit those mistakes. I'm keeping my eye on Braden Boshaw here coming out of Cowboy Corner, though. He's been getting some insane runs down the steel at starting line straight away. Yeah, he was flying in that 180. We'll see they're heading back towards Forest County, Pottawatomie, turn number one, one final time. Ben Holger, Joey Machosik, and Braden Boshaw. Half a lap to go now for Ben Holger, and once again, Braden Boshaw, full head of steam into turn one. This time he's set up on the outside of Machosik. Yeah, he's going to try to do the crossover pass. He wants to get to the bottom side of Machosik. He runs out of real estate right there. Still got a lot of momentum there in the 820, but he's hung out to dry on the outside. Machosik is going to file back in front of Braden Boshaw. Wow, Braden's going to try to go across the bottom. He wants to try to set up a block pass. He ain't going to get there. Couldn't get to the front bumper of Machosik. One corner to go now for Ben Holcher. Well, Ben Holcher taking off where he left off. He knows how to win here at Crandon. He's going to get the job done. If he can play it safe on the bottom side, he's going to do it. Ben Holzer, that has huge points implications. Like I said, Brent, he had a 14-point lead over Machosik. And he will pick up another three points plus the uh, additional one point for leading at halfway. So that'll unofficially, by my math, be an 18-point lead coming into tomorrow. But of course, Machosik, Belanger, and Boshaw still in the mix for that championship as well but Ben Holcher gets the job done and looked pretty comfortable out front the entirety of that race Brent yeah he looked really really comfy and he's just good at what he does in that truck and to take a big win here in fall Crandon that's what you want to do all season long if you want to win one you want to win it here at the big house no doubt about it we'll take a look at the unofficial final results from round 11 super stock truck and we will step out for a moment Top three about to take their spots on the podium right after this. Stay with us here at Amsoil Championship Off-Road presented by the U.S. Air Force. Rocks. Sand. Heat. Life off-road is tough. We wouldn't have it any other way. If Amsoil products are designed for this kind of punishment, Think about what they can do for your daily driver. Upgrade to AMSOIL protection today and get fast free shipping from AMSOIL.com.
Kyle Cheney in the 191 as he works his way through. Now bragging rights and trophies When you become an AMSOIL preferred customer, you become part of the AMSOIL family, an elite group passionate about vehicle performance. You'll save up to 25% on every order. Get free shipping on orders of $100 or more. Receive a birthday gift of 5% off worth up to $5. Enjoy 5% off on your next order with every $100 you spend and receive exclusive promotional offers. Plus, when you purchase $500 in AMSOIL products in a year, your preferred customer membership renewal is free. You'll also receive our quarterly AMSOIL magazine with the latest product details, technical information, gearhead lifestyle stories, and complete product catalog. A six-month introductory membership is only $10, and a full year is just $20. Sign up today and start saving. Welcome back to the 54th Polaris Crandon World Championships here at Amsoil Championship Off-Road, presented by the U.S. Air Force. And that's almost a wrap on our racing here for Champ Off-Road, round 11 of sportsman action. But first, let's meet the top three finishers from a wild super stock truck race. Finishing in third today from Gladstone, Michigan, Braden Boshaw. In second, from McQuanago, Wisconsin, Joe Machosik. And taking the win here in round 11 from Ocano Falls, Wisconsin, Ben Holcher. Nolan, time and time again, Super Stock Truck delivers one heck of a show. And I'm already looking forward to this one when it comes around tomorrow afternoon. Shane, like you, I look forward to this class every time we're racing. We're going to go on, over, go on over and chat with our third place finisher, Braden Boshaw. Braden, that looked like an absolute blast. You and Joey battling for that number two spot. Walk me through it the whole race long. Yeah, man, that was awesome. Uh, it sounded like we were kind of checked out from them all. Uh, ben drove a great race. He was real fast. And then let Joey get on the inside of me, which isn't what I was well, hoping to do. But no, he drove a great race, too. Uh, that was a ton of fun. Hopefully, we'll be racing that top spot tomorrow. Um, yeah, we tried a different tire setup than the other guys, and it seemed to work okay, but I think, we're, I think we know what we're doing for tomorrow. Who helped you get up here today? Uh, man, it's through manufacturing, uh, Yokohama Tire, these things are fast. Uh, Deaver Spring, Peding Performance, um, Highline Internet, I gotta thank my dad, my mom, brother, sister, Jarrett, TJ, uh, my dad and Jarrett were working for weeks on this truck. I moved off to college. Uh, in between Bark River and now, so they've been thrashing. Um, huge thanks to them for getting the truck prepped. Um, yeah, all my friends and family, everybody's here. It's awesome. Congratulations, Brayden Boshaw, P3 today in Super Stock Truck. <laughs> Moving on over second place, Joy Machosik. Joe, it looked like you were driving the wheels off of that thing, buddy. I imagine it had quite a bit to do with Ben being out front and the point situation we're in. Yeah, I know. I know where we're at. Uh, he got a little more on me today. Um, he's a good driver. I respect him. Um, I don't want to win him by him going out. That's how we want to duke it out to the end, and you don't want anybody to break down so you win a championship. 
Who helped you get up here today, Joel? Uh, Yokohama Tires, uh, Yokohama Sweep up here. Thank you to Paul, Brian, all those guys over there. Mosquito Crane Service, my buddies, my, my mom, my buddy Brian, my buddy Zach, Josh at home, always helping me out in the shop. Uh, this is a seven day a week job most of the time and I I'm thankful for those guys. Uh, they help me out so much. Same with my dad. The eye in the sky for me, uh, that was a crazy race. He was keeping me calm. Uh, so thank you to him. He does a hell of a job up there. Congratulations, Joe Machosik. Second place today in Super Stock Truck. And on top of the box in this one, Ben Holcher. Ben, this truck swept the weekend back in Spring Cranon. Corey was behind the wheel, and you picked up right where he left off and checked out, man. Yeah, I, I knew it could do it. I knew that that's the best way to get to the front here because it's hard to pass, even if you're you know fast. So I knew I had to do it in the first turn, and we got her somehow. So, Where does this put you mindset-wise going into tomorrow? Extended the points lead a little bit? I think we got to do the same thing tomorrow. That's what we got to go for. <laughs> so. I think that's how you get the most points. <laughs> Who would you like to thank for getting you up here today? Oh, my God, my friends and family for keeping this thing put together and busting ass and just working on it in the shop, at the track, cleaning it, um, feeding me, <laughs> everything. Everybody comes together as a team, and I could not do it without my friends and family team. So. Any sponsors you'd like to thank, Ben? Oh, my God, so many. GTI Trucking, Squawky for hauling this stuff here all summer. McDermott Truck Sales, Fleet Pride, NHC, BCS, Holcher Brothers, Uncle Jeff, um, Meat Sweats, uh, HBI. Thank you. Congratulations, Ben Holcher. Winner today in Super Stock Truck. Let's hear it one more time for Braden Boshaw, Joey Machosik, and Ben Holcher, your Super Stock Truck podium. Thank you very much, Nolan, and what a great race that was once again. And Shane, hey, our job here is done, but a lot more racing yet to come after this. Yeah, tremendous afternoon of racing here. The the rest of round 11 that we saw for sportsman racing here at Amsoil Championship Off-Road presented by the U.S. Air Force. And tell you what, man, we got a big show in store tomorrow for our champ races. Sportsman opening ceremonies, 9 a.m. Central. Tomorrow is World Championship Saturday for our sportsman racers. They'll all be racing for that championship ring. And that's it for us up here, but for all you fans here in Crandon, we're now going to turn the booth over to Miles Hasselquist and Jim Marsden for Ultra 4 Racing in the Forest County Potawatomi Friday Night Thunder. Yeah, Shane, it's been a wonderful day. We're going to do it all over again for round 12 for the sportsmen. And for Nolan Castellian, Shane Stetsny, I'm Brent Smith. Thanks for watching Amsoil Championship Off-Road presented by the U.S. Air Force. But before we leave, check out this GoPro moment. Stock truck. See the pace truck pull off here in just a few moments, turning the field over to Ben Holcher. It is Holcher. Machosik, Boshaw, there you see the original start of the race where Machosik got that great jump, but we're going to get back to it here. Green flag flies. Holcher leads everybody. Oh, it's great. Dream Boshaw, excuse me, gets all crossed up. That's going to let the lead pack get away. Yeah, Dream Boshaw gets shoved up on the bird. Crossed up, so no harm, no foul there. But for Trey, man, that's a bummer deal. Look at all those trucks that got collected. Clyde Camp, I think Jorgensen's upside down there. Looks like Summers, Cosiza, Barklin, Michael all involved there. Let's take another look at Boshaw trying to gather it back up. Collected Cosiza, Bing got involved. Clyde Camp was involved.